Hi, this is DJ Steve Nice. You're watching wingsound.com. Now I'm going to show you how to actually use audio effects on some audio that you imported into Ableton. Check it out. Also remember that your audio effects you could use on your MIDI too. You don't have to export your MIDI as a, and make it audio to use the effects on it. You could just mix and match them. Plus you have MIDI effects that you could use just for your MIDI. So what I'm going to do here is just go through some of the effects that you could use for audio and give you a couple of, of examples just to get you started. But you click on the live's built-in instruments and effects as well as their presets. All right. I don't ever use presets to be honest with you. But um, if that's what you want to do, you can. If you want to use a preset, you open it up, you expand it, and you could use any of these presets. Me, I just double click on the effect, and then uh, press play here. You hear how it gives it a chorus effect. All right, and that's what Ableton's known for, some of its great effects. And what you could do is, once you, you could EQ it, all right, because you want it to sound a certain way. So once it's EQ'd, you could put a delay on it. You could just keep building these up. And just, you know, as many as you want until you get it sounding the way you wanted it to sound. And if you want to go in between your, your audio sample and your audio effects, you just click here on the bottom to go back and forth with, a, with whatever you want to do. And you could, this little dark square, you can move it back and forth because sometimes you have so many effects that you know you gotta scroll through it a little bit so basically that's how you put effects on your audio and also utilize them for midi too hey everybody i hope those videos really helped you if you want to contact me for any questions you could do so at steve nice at winksound.com the new social video network for audio creators